Hello, hi. Hi, everybody. How are you? Happy summer and happy winter in the Southern Hemisphere. How are you today? Well, today I want to talk to you a little bit more about what's happening here in the latter half of the year. I've known for quite a while that the latter half of the year is going to be very different than what we experienced in 2018, 2019, the beginning part of it. Uh, this is a time frame for you to uh, get a lot addressed with your body. So that is what I'm going to talk to you about is your twin flame body. This includes hormones. It's a lot about your hormones. When I talk about hormones, a lot of times people tend to think of things like, you know, just estrogen. Like, oh, someone's hormonal. Yeah, people get hormonal. Yeah, we've got moon cycles. There's a lot that is happening that is actually very alarming for people. And I'm here to take the fear away from it. Not only that, people can talk about symptoms and things like that without having a clue about what is actually happening. And if I say something like, well, you're here to be new, that sounds like a cliche. That sounds like something you stitch on a pillow and, you know, like, you're here to be new. But it's not giving you the tools and the factual information that you actually need, nor is anyone really teaching you how to properly open your channels and connect all of this with your twin? Because what your twin does can affect you still. Some of what you do can affect your twin flame. Because some of this is, is like fine-tuning a well-oiled machine. Some people are just starting and breaking in the machine. And by machine, I do mean your twin flame body. There are actual brand new connections that you've never been able before to access. And this was a surprise to me when I was learning about it over the past several years. However, I know all about it and I know how to get you through things. I know how to get things up and running. So what about some of this? This has to do with your hormones and your wellness. I do talk to quite a few people and I can tell you that there's times when you might not exactly feel sick, but you don't feel okay. There's times where you're going along and suddenly you feel depressed or you feel oogie. And it's nothing you can really pinpoint and you say, well, what's happening to me now? There's times when you go along and despite all your go-to stuff, you're going to work out, you're going to meditate, you're going to be zen. It's not cutting it. And I'm going to tell you why. Because things are new. Some of that stuff, it's not helpful for certain things that you go through. And other things are helpful. What if your body is having different aches and pains? So there's a lot that you should be learning. I've made it very concise. I've made it easy to follow. I've made it easy to join. And so there's several topics we're going to talk about. Your sleep. Waking up, disturbing dreams, you know, how do you know if you're having stuff at night? Well, you're waking up at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., or you're having several wake-ups per night. Are you having disturbing dreams or odd dreams or perhaps not dreaming? That can happen too on this journey. What is your wellness level? This is going to include your physical wellness, also your emotional wellness, so it includes your health and your stability. How stable do you feel? Do you feel like your emotions are on a roller coaster ride, but you're doing the best you can? What's that all about? I know about it. Is your body going through temperature fluctuations? I know what that is and what you should do about it. Activities. Now, you might say, well, what do my hormones and wellness have to do with my activities? Well, believe it or not, it can have a lot of bearing on what your responsibilities are, what you like to do, where you like to spend your time, what your family stuff is that you have going on. It can include going on vacation. I've had several people where suddenly they say, nope, not going, or nope, I'm sick, I can't go. What if you're not well enough to enjoy life? Are you going through little patches that make you feel sort of decrepit? 
please come and join and I will be able to help you with some of this because there's a lot more going on here than just estrogen. There's estrogen, there's testosterone, there's a lot of things all going on. This also has to do with your twin flame body and past abuse. Your new body doesn't want any abuse. It doesn't want sarcasm. It doesn't want to be shunted aside. It doesn't want to repeat karmic patterns with people. Not whatsoever. You want to enjoy. You're here to be in love. And that's also a misconcept out there. People say like, well, I don't see the romance. I don't see the hurt and flowers. But what's so romantic about being sick? Also, have you ever seen anyone's relationship where one person is deathly ill? It really shifts the relationship. Their shift focuses to simply taking care of and getting through each day, not being romantic with each other. So in some ways, you may need to get rid of some things ahead of time. And that in itself is a blessing. So there's many blessings in disguise that happen as the result of this energy. The door is also firmly closed to the past because just over this past week, you're drawing yourself in from timelines and the door is closing behind you. If ever you were at a point of no return, no return, you're in it now. And for some of you, you may say, good riddance to the past. For some of you, you're going to say, oh, but who moved that? Well, why can't I go back? But I want to. But why, why Santa Claus? Why? <laughs> and there's no real easy answer for everyone because it's very subjective. It depends on what your experiences are. It depends on what you are healing from and your twin flame. The things that I present, I am not alone in presenting things that have to do with the subject hormones or wellness. I talk to a lot of people that live in an area where there's a wellness center or they want to open one up. But when you talk about wellness between two cosmic lovers who have a massive alignment and your love transcends time and space, well, then you need a twin flame teacher about that. You're not going to be able to cut it from other people. You might piece together a few things, but you're not going to get what it takes unless you talk to a twin flame teacher, specifically myself. Does that sound like I'm proud? Yes, I'm very proud of my body of work, and I should be. I've worked very hard on it. I work 24-7. I've worked on it since 2009 uh, when I used to run heart chakra activation workshops. Yes, I do. And I do know this, and I've grown with it, and it's evolved. And there's things for you to learn. From 2017, when you finally could start making your way to the exit, until now, you may have been doing some things, or you may have been bumping along and it's okay. Now it's for real. As they've said before, this is no dress rehearsal. It's for real. And you have a twin flame body, which is actually very new. What is new about it? You have several subtle body connections that you've never been able to access ever. Nobody has because it's new. What about all the things that still happen? You know, the, the pain, the dishonor you see, the things that happen out there. Wouldn't you like to transcend it? I teach you how to do that. What about all the things I feel from everybody about being empathic? Come and join my webinar and you will no longer be the same empath, meaning everybody's pain just clings to you. That's not what you're here for. You're not here for, you're here for maybe feeling your own pain and ditching it and getting rid of it. But you are not here to feel everybody's pain. Nobody is. No one person can fix everything for everybody. You fix your own stuff. You fix the stuff for your union. You learn to maintain properly. And that's, I take the mystery out of it. I take the fear out of it. So what about some of the other things that people have endured? Because a lot of people have endured a lot of stuff just to be here at this point. And I applaud you. You are stronger than you may realize you are. 
Just getting up every day sometimes is an act of strength and courage for some people. And I applaud you. Just being able to suit up every day and go in and do the job because you have to, because maybe there's people counting on you. But what about your time? What about your love? How do you go through your ascension as gracefully as possible with the proper alignments and the proper go-to things and tools to use? I have that for you. I have that so it can be as graceful as possible. I've had a lot of people go through things and they stuck with me and they have transcended quite a bit. Grief, abuse, um, financial setbacks, several deaths. I myself have been through quite a few things. My year of 2018 was probably a year from hell that was rivaled only by maybe two other distinct years in my life. It was quite hellish. <laughs> and there were a lot of things that happened. And I understand what it's like to feel like the living dead. I know. I've been there. And there's just things that will help you get through it that I have lived through, that I developed ways on what to do. Now, I covered that in my book, ebook two, which has to do with um, breath and breathing, twin flame ascension and breath. Sorry, this should be the breath. Okay, Twin Flame Ascension and Breath, book two. And I have a webinar coming up this weekend. So if you wanted the opportunity to ask questions, okay, the, the forums may not be answering your questions. The comment section is not really the ideal place to pose a question. Come and join the webinar. It's a safe context. You can be heard out. You can type me a question ahead of time. I will be doing a webinar. Friday evening at 6 p.m. and Sunday morning, June 30th at 9 a.m. The subject is Twin Flame Advanced Ascension Symptoms. And these are the subjects we're going to talk about. Past abuse, violence, emotional and mental abuse, physical and sexual abuse, rape, unwanted pregnancies. These are, these are a lot of topics that are going to come up for people to address either passively or very actively. And there are things to know about it. How would you actually transcend it? Because some of the things that are set out there are not actually going to fully remove it from you. I'm talking about full removal from the origin of from whence it came. Full removal. Do you want any of these things in your union going forward, violence, emotional and mental abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, unwanted pregnancies. That too is something for both genders. That's just because a woman can get pregnant doesn't mean men don't feel. They feel and they will increasingly be feeling the bond with their children, with their unwanted past children with children that they have, may have missed, that they've lost, that have been kidnapped, men will feel. And they're not going to get around it. Feeling is the way of this. What if someone has had, you know, felt like they've had the upper hand and they have all the say-so in it? You know, it's my body, it's this. Well, what about what someone else feels? And maybe that was a bad relationship. Okay, and we have a fresh start now. We have a fresh start where these things won't trouble people. How many of you were created because you were some kind of glue to keep your parents together or to keep their marriage together or someone else's relationship? How many of you were created because of someone's relationship with alcohol? Okay, maybe we don't think about it. Maybe you don't want to think about it, and that's a very touchy nerve to touch on. But the fact of the matter is, is that you might be able to feel the negativity of that now. And I'm here to help get it removed. How were things created? How did it devolve? How do we raise it up again? How do we raise the bar and raise the expectations? I know how to do that. How do I help you to get from a level 
where you feel like that and you feel like you're here. How? I have ways of doing that. But you have to join because doing these things, I have so much information on the body that's out there on all of my 350 videos. And these are things that are very pertinent for now. If you don't get sufficient sleep, it takes a toll. And it takes a toll on your inner body. It takes a toll on your work. It takes a toll on your mental acuity. It takes a toll on your well-being, your wellness. How stable do you feel? How is your physical health? Okay, the activities you'd like to do. Sometimes you're saying, gosh, I'd love to have some time off. Okay, you should. You deserve it. But how do you actually do it and enjoy it? Oh, nothing's enjoyable without my twin flame. I tried. I tried to do this. I tried to do that. And I think I'd rather just exit. Sorry, but that's not in the cards for you. That is not part of the plan. As many people would like to um, check out that way, there are people who are genuinely suicidal. And yes, I've helped many people who have felt that and have started a session with that as the topic. And we have moved it along, and they are functioning quite well now. So there is a way to shift this and move it. There is some heavy-duty stuff from the past, and some of it's pretty ugly and bloody. And yet, when you start to break it down into something where you can say, what? You mean a fresh start? You mean I get to just erase it and hit the reset button somehow? How's that work? I know how to help you to get it work. And furthermore, I help you to do it smoothly and gracefully. It's not going to be like, and then lay you out for like weeks on end where you're like, whoa, what just happened to me? I'm having a breakdown. Some people do have breakdowns. And I know how to help people with those as well. Okay. You sometimes have to enlist the help of many other health sectors to help with certain things. And I'm all for it because there are very learned people just like I am who have been trained in certain things and that is their specialty just like some of you have their spe your specialty. What are some of the other things? Okay. What if it seems like the world is fighting you and is just angry with you? What's that all about? Okay. And again, what does it do to your hormones? What does it do to your physical body? In many ways, when the stress comes, it stresses you in certain areas of your body. People feel anxiety here. Well, what's right under here? It's your heart. Okay, so let's get real about this because over the next several months, you're going to have to learn about the body. You don't have to learn body parts. You have to learn what to do to shift your energies because that all is a primer to being able to go back to your favorite homes, to being able to create, to being able to commune. So a lot of the things that are already spoken about, that's just a part of the breakdown of the fourth dimension. There's also the getting back to the next dimension. There's also keeping yourselves healthy and well and maintaining properly. So thanks so much for watching. Look for the links down below. The webinar links are down there. You can always pose a question to me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Have a session with me if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session. The links are down below for that. I help you. Not only that, I can intuit the things that will be helpful for you, such as supplements, diet, it is very comprehensive guidance. I take, I take notes and, you know, make sure that it's as comprehensive as I can make it because I believe in you and I believe that you deserve the best and you be deserve to be taken seriously. This is, as they say, not for the faint hearted, but you are not a faint hearted person. You're a person who has a stronger heart than you may realize and your heart is yearning for each other. And that, my friends, that is the key, is the yearning and the desire helps to get this done. 
but that's not the only thing. So that starts the job rolling, that starts things. I mean, you're already, you're already doing some of this passively. But nobody can just hand you a brand new thing without you learning something about it. Becoming adept, becoming adept enough so that you can really stick it together and have balance, well-being, and genuine good sleep. And so please try my book on ebook two. If there's confusing things for you out there, this book contains a glossary. It is an ebook. And there's a glossary in there of terminology. So if you have recently found out about this, welcome. I'm here to take out a lot of the mystery for you. Put it in concise, simple ways, simple language. You don't have to go out and learn a whole new language for it. There's terms used, yes, but it's simple. In my book, I talk to you about ascension and that is to get yourself relaxed so that you can sleep and start the path to wellness because the key is in love. Love will help you transcend, and it is true that love moves obstacles, love finds ways, love moves the mountains. You know, we're saying love, but what we really mean is emotion. Emotion. Do you know how to emote? And this is why I get so upset with the people that are saying, you know, this isn't about flowers and candy and cards. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. You know why? Because when you're in love, you naturally want to do that. Nobody has to tell you. I've, I've seen several people in love. I've seen hundreds of people in love. And the heart is always emoting and wishing to give and do and better and creating and making cards and growing flowers and picking flowers and bringing them home and making perfume with the flowers. That's what love does. And love does other stuff too. Like mop your head when you're waking up at night. Like take your temperature when you're sick. Like go run out to the store when you need something because you don't feel okay. Like tell you to take a day off and they'll call in for you. Like tell you other things and say, you know what, we'll put off the vacation until you feel better. I'm okay with it. Love does a lot of other things. But the difference with Twin Flames is you're not going to feel like it's a sacrifice. You may have been asked to sacrifice in past lives. In this life, you're done with that karma. You're not expected to be a murderer. You're not expected to make sacrifices. You're not expected to roll over and play dead. You're not expected to tolerate bad behavior. So come and find out how to get your relationships well, to get your body in shape for love. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you there. Again, please reach out with a question, and thank you.